Hi there and welcome to another Parker Adams Boat Sales video walkthrough. Um, she's been on a bit of a roll with these at the moment. This is the sixth video walkthrough that we've done in I think as many days. Um, and behind me I have an Antares 880. Um, now it's a 2017 boat. It's powered by twin Suzuki 150 horsepower engines um, and it's really really lovely boat. It's presented in very very nice condition. Um, the popularity of this style of boat has become huge in the last couple of years um, and these boats do not stay on the market for very long. Um, I think they're a really nice blend of nice accommodation down below. You've got the fishing angle so you've got a good cockpit space at the back but equally they're really nice for a family as well because you've got good accommodation and good inside space. Now they really come into their own in the winter as well. Um, today it's a quite a chilly November day. We came across um, from the Hamble. We're in Cowes at the moment and we were all tucked away in the cabin there and it was really toasty, very very warm. In fact that, co that cabin area there gets really really warm because there's lots of glass, lots and lots of light um, and so it acts a little bit like a greenhouse and warms up really nicely. So what we're going to do is walk around the boat. I'll show you all the features, benefits of the boat, um, access to the front. There's some nice features this boat has got above others as well, such as front sun pad cushions. So let's carry on and I will walk you around the boat. So the first thing to note is nice easy access to get on board the boat. Um, we've moored stern to here and even with the engines there you've still got only a very very small step to get on board. There's a bathing ladder there. There's twin engines makes manoeuvring this boat absolutely a dream. We moved into this berth without even touching the bow thruster but of course good to mention it does have a bow thruster. Um, side access here, um, probably if I had one criticism of the boat I'd say that the side decks are not as wide as they could be but it's a trade-off because instead of having really wide side decks what you have is um, much more interior space but they're perfectly um, adequate. Um, you've got good handholds here, there's also handholds up there and round this corner here so although they're quite narrow you do feel very safe and secure when you're walking round. So I'll start off by going round to the bow and you can see on the bow you've got these really really nice Diamante um, bow cushions presented in a nice beige colour. Um, now all that comes off um, but what's quite a nice design here is you've got a little hatch cover so if that hatch is closed you've got a circular uh, sorry circular it's got a rectangular um, square which folds on top of it to create a really nice sun pad area and then they utilize the the edge of the windscreen there to give you a headrest so it's a really nice simple design um, you've got the, this boat is fitted with an electric anchor um, that can be controlled both from um, the, the, the anchor station at the front and also from the helm position so nice and easy to control um, and lock in place there so if we work our way back down, um, I mentioned just yesterday when referring to um, a seaway that we're selling, these really nice side profile windows and this boat has also got them and you'll see that when we go down below that there's loads and loads of light um, on this boat. So I'll show a first view of the cockpit space here. Um, again, Diamante upholstery all the way around here to create this really nice L shape. Um, it's all presented in very, very nice condition. No rips, no tears. Um, the table also has a cover which can be put on it. Um, that you can probably see there, there's just a few little um, oil stains on there. Uh, we might give that a little bit of a rub down just to get rid of those. They'll come off pretty easily and that table will look absolutely immaculate. If we step back around the boat here, you can see teak. Uh, laid onto the, the stern here and then you've got a little locker space in here. If I lift that up you can see an extra locker there to put some ropes in there. It's all a drainage locker that then drains into this well here. So the twin Suzuki 150 engines. Of course, do remember that these engines are under warranty as well. So it's a 2017 boat. Um, the warranty is a five-year warranty on these, so that expires um, in March next year. Um, trim tabs as well. Uh, it's a nice trim tab system um, on this boat. You can also see they're controlled, um, and you can have indicators on them as well, which I will, will show you. Rest on the transom, you can see a transom shower outlet there. And of course, this boat also has shore power, hence you can see the cable coming off. So let's step on board the boat and I will carry on the walkthrough. Nice easy step on here and as we step on board the boat um, what I've done is I've actually taken, if you just look down here, I've actually taken a, a space out here which has normally got a cushion. Um, so this cushion area here you've got two extra cushions which are slot in there which creates a complete L shape at the back here which is really really nice. It's a good very very good sociable space here. Um, I'll just 
hand that back to my, my able camera assistant here today. So if you step on board. In terms of the, um, the cockpit space, as I mentioned, it's nice and generous. You've got good handholds here. Um, obviously you won't normally have a park around boat sail sign here, so that, that won't be in your way, but lots and lots of space. Underneath the hatch here, I'll just take this back again and just spin this around. Underneath here, you can see you've got a really nice big storage locker under here, access here directly into the bilges, it's all nice and clean, there's a boat hook there, um, another hatch there that goes straight down into the bilge, so easy access, and then I won't lift it up now, but you have exactly the same system um, on this side as well. So in terms of the rest of the boat, let's go on inside. You've got some really nice carpet, um, it's a sort of an overlay carpet which runs throughout here, and let's start off at the top here. So just at the top, if you've got a nice bit of work surface there, but if you lift it up, it's on nice gas struts. You've got a two burner hob and a sink. It's all integrated into one unit, which I think is a really nice design. And you've got both hot and cold pressured water there. So there's a separate calorifier when you're on mains power on the boat. Just up here, we've got fusion powered um, speakers. The, the speaker system is all powered through a fusion head unit up there, which is an RA205. That's also network compatible. So it's a NEMA 2000 head unit. So if you wanted to, to connect that up to your chart plotter, um, you can do that. Now, this boat here has also just been reupholstered. We've chosen to go with, again, the Diamante upholstery, which m ties in really nicely. So it's the same upholstery inside as it is on the stern and also the sun pad cushions. And the beauty of this, of course, is that it's scrubbable. Um, it's beautiful and easy to keep clean. Um, so if you do have spills or anything, if you've got children up here, you just wipe it off. When you have fabric upholstery up at the top here, I think, to be honest, you're asking for trouble on what would be I would describe as a nice family boat. The carpet is in immaculate condition. You've got good locker space. Just if I open up here, you've got a nice generous um, space in there. And I was, I've seen on some boats, they've actually put a microwave in there, which is a really, really nice idea. So you could keep a microwave in there, uh, which it could obviously be used when on shore power. Let's keep walking on through the boat and look at the helm position. Now, the helm position is very, very good. What you have is a bolster seat, so you have a bolster design which gives lots and lots of um, space so you don't need the seat in the way. But then if I pop that down and then lift myself up onto there, then you can see it's a good seating position. You've got access to a side window here which opens up very, very easily. So you can communicate with your crew very nicely through that. Close that back up again. Then all of your controls are really nice and easy to hand. You've got your port and your starboard engine gauges. You've got your Lowrance, um, head, um, sorry, Lowrance chart plotter here, which is also a sonar for fish. You've got a bow thruster. Important feature on the boat of this size is you've got a bow thruster. And then all of your navigation lights, your access to your windscreen wipers, your windscreen washers, uh, your build controls, everything is here. And then I mentioned earlier about these trim tabs. The trim tab, you've got up, down, standard trim tab, but it's nice on the Lenko system here that you can see how far down your trim tabs are deployed. The Suzuki, it's all working through these electronic gauges and you've got the, the system here where you can go onto just the throttle. Um, you've got start-stop controls on the buttons and just one key. So you just have one key which operates both engines. You turn the ignition on and then start both engines independently here. Um, big fan of the Suzuki um, system. It's very, very light. It's very, very easy to use, easy to control. You've got the trim for the engine just on the side there. And say, when we brought this boat into this berth earlier, just spinning it round on its axis, just using the twin engines, one engine forward, one engine astern, made it really, really easy to handle. In fact, while talking about handling, we're going to be running some videos fairly soon where we're going to give our view on boat handling, where we're going to give our experiences on how to handle a boat with twin engines, single engines, bow thruster so watch this space for, for more videos there from Parker Adams so that's pretty much it for um, the, the the helm station uh, one last thing to mention you've got a cigarette lighter socket here so you can see I'm just using that to charge up an extra battery and that's really powerful that's charging up very very quickly there this is where the fusion head unit is that's just at the top and then next door to it you have a Lowrance VHF now, the VHF is interesting on this boat because there's actually two of them. So it's a good redundancy there. Um, there's a second one just there. It's an ICOM um, 323G, which has a built-in GPS receiver into it. So you've got two DSC 
um, VHFs on this boat. So good red redundancy there, or you could be monitoring two different stations um, at the same time. Actually, while sitting down, I will just draw your attention to the skylights as well. Very, very easy to, to handle. Just twist that and just pull it back. And now we've got loads and loads of light and, and air coming in. Beautiful on a nice summer's day. On a day like today, I've just let a load of cold air in, so I might close that up again. So we just push that closed and then rotate that locked into its locked position. There's also blinds. You've got some nice ocean air blinds here. You've got a mosquito net blind that can be pulled across. Or if you pull across this way, you can go to a complete blackout. So the nice thing again about this boat from a cosy point of view um, is that you can create a situation where you've got all of this enclosed space at night. You've got curtains. They're very nice lined curtains actually. So you can close the whole area in so it feels nice in the evening and quite protected. So let's crack on and show you the rest of the boat. Now this boat is um, it's quite a nice open layout. It's a different layout down here than something like the, let's say the Mary Fisher 895, which has the separate cabins. But what you end up is a really good feeling of spaciousness down here. And I think a lot of that is down to these lovely portholes um, and this stripe of window down the side. So loads and loads of space here. Um, you've got curtains that run the whole way around. You've got lights up at the top. Um, and of course you've got your hatch here for ventilation and you've got a curtain blind which pulls across there as well. So it's a really good size bed. I'd say that's pretty much coming on for a king size bed in there. Through here in this locker space here you've got access to the electronics there for the bow thruster. So easy access there. And this boat is also fitted with heating and so you've got a warm air blown heating system which is just blowing air out here. Good storage space, lockers and then another storage locker just in there. Now behind me, we have a, a seat. It's a quite a good size seat. Two people could comfortably sit on there. And then you've got the aft cabin area. Again, a really nice big size bed in there. Storage spaces on the right hand side here. You've got ventilation out into the, the uh, cockpit area. So the saloon area and everything finished to a really nice standard nicely presented boat and then finally the last thing to show you is the heads compartment should have put the lid down shouldn't i but the heads compartment in here um, it's a good size actually for an eight, for an 880 i think there's a really good size in there and um, this room can also double up as a wet room so the shower head just pulls off the the tap there You've obviously got a curtain for a bit more privacy. You've got a mirror in here and then everything would drain down into this drain socket here. You've got access to the back of the instruments in this panel at the top. So if you weren't, if you needed to do any work on the instruments or replace any instruments, easy access here. And then also behind this panel, you've got access to instruments as well. So I think this boat is really, really nicely presented. Um, and let me just go back up and give you a final walk around this boat. So the front area, I should actually mention that this pulls across, you have a curtain for privacy purposes. In fact, let's do that now. I'll show you how, how that looks. So what I'm doing is just undoing the curtain and then we pull the curtain across, which effectively creates the front cabin there. Pull that into position. If I close the heads off now and then step up and look back, you can see that's created a really nice degree um, of privacy there. So you could have two couples on board the boat um, with, with a degree of privacy, with a curtain. So quick look round the boat again. You've got a helm position here, bolster seat, little locker, um, storage space down here. I've used that to put the GoPro bag, put SD cards. You've also got the instrument covers are there as well. Nice ergonomic helm position. Your seating area is all brand new upholstery that was literally fitted last week. Your isolator switches are just down here. And you've got a nice size opening as well. I should mention that it's a double size opening on this door. So the door is effectively like a bi, bi, bi slide door. I know such a thing as a bi slide, it's more bifold, but it slides. So you've got um, one piece that comes across to here and another piece, which just gives that really nice open area. So just another look around. You've got the L shape space at the back, two cushions there that make up an infill cushion to go in here, but I'm using that to step on and off. So I haven't put those cushions into play and then your access to your side decks. Good, as I mentioned, handholds here, so you can step up quite easily onto the side of the boat and then work your way round. Good access, we'll just do a quick tour all the way around the front of the boat.
and back down again. We talked about the handholds, they run all the way up here. You've got the twin VHF aerials for the two VHFs on the top. If we come back round again, I'm going to take a big step now onto here so I don't tread on the upholstery. So, let's spin the camera around. So, my name's Andrew Adams from Parker Adams Boat Sales. It's been a pleasure to bring you another walkthrough tour. We hope you like looking through this boat. Um, so this was an Antares 880 2017 boat. Um, it's on the market actively with us at the moment. If you'd like to arrange a viewing, uh, it's on the Parker Adams Sales pontoon, which is in the middle of the Hamble River. Uh, give us a call, come down and see the boat. Um, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel and we'll speak very soon. Many thanks.